I thought I would film myself throwing this hairstyle together for you guys. This is actually the kind of the hairstyle I do when I have second day curls. So when I have done my hair, set my hair, curled my hair the day before, and my hair looks like this the next morning, this is the style I tend to throw it into, um, especially after something like this where I have curled my bangs the day before. Um, I do have my short Betty bangs here, and they're not quite as short as they are now that I've gotten a haircut. Obviously this is pre-haircut hair here. I did film a couple of tutorials while I still had this hair going on. Um, but as you can see, my bangs are all curly from having it in a 1940s poodle the day before. So, uh, you know, this is a, a lot to work with here, but I'll show you how I tame this into something wearable. Um, and that starts with taking a deep side part here. So I'm just gonna take a deep side part on this side of my head and try and convince the hairs to stay on one side or the other. I'm just gonna pin this bang sort of area out of the way for now and then give my hair a quick brush just to get out all those tangles. Again, this is just like literally bedhead, um, what my hair looks like when I've curled it the day before and then I sleep on those curls. And um, so I'm just gonna take those tangles out as best I can. I have this Carol's Daughter pomade here that I'm gonna use to help smooth my bangs aside. I am gonna be pinning my bangs away for this style, um, especially cause they're wild and crazy right now, as you can see. So I'm just gonna give those a quick comb here and then try and push them all into uh, make it look like I don't have bangs anymore, basically. Um, so I'm just gonna brush them out of the way and then do my best to use pomade here and then also hairspray to get them to lie down and behave. Um, I do have a small strand here of my bangs from the very farthest side that kind of refuse to behave um, or play along, but we, we convince them in the end. You know, have enough hairspray, get things sticky enough, um, and we can make any hair behave. So I am just going to use a strong bobby pin or two to pin these bangs back. You can see that one strand that does not want to play. Um, but I'm just going to do one pin from the front here and then I will cross it with another one of these strong bobby pins just to keep those bangs out of the way. So I just crisscross these bobby pins. If you ever really want a lot of strength out of a bobby pin, uh, put another one perpendicular to it or close to. Um, this little strand here is our, our problem child of the day. So we're just going to keep fighting that guy uh, with some extra hold hairspray here, uh, you know, and convincing it to try and lay flat, please. But of course, when you have short bangs, uh, you know, this is an, can be an uphill battle sometimes, but you know, just keep spraying. And my hair here is already, of course, has a lot of product in it because I curled it the day before. So I'm not really worried about putting more product in it anymore. I'm going to take this sort of top section of hair here and I'm going to brush that and then I will back comb it a little bit because we're going to use this section to conceal those bobby pins and the part where I've pinned my bangs over. So I'm brushing that a little bit forward here and just getting the tangles out of it as well, which there are some serious tangles in there. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of back combing to give that a little bit more structure and volume. And then I'm going to really pull and lay that forward here. And you can see I'm still brushing my hair a little bit forward too. But this, because of the curls in it from the day before, is falling into a pretty nice wave here. Um, so I'm just going to use that to cover up the bobby pins from my bangs and just make it look like my hair is just styled this way as opposed to that I'm hiding ha uh, part of my haircut here. And luckily this fell pretty nicely this day. Sometimes it falls better um, than other days and I have different methods of just kind of convincing my curls to behave. As you can see here I'm just poking and playing with my curls until they lay a way I like. Um, I am just smoothing the back as best I can. There's not really much I can do back here unless I want to throw more curls in there with the curling iron. Still a few tangles to uh, work out there, but I'm just gonna leave this flippy in the back. Um, and this side, um, one of my curls, as you can see, is a lot straighter than the other. So I just ended up taking a section of this, twisting it, and then pushing that forward a little bit to get a little bit of volume there, playing with the bottom of the curl to see if that would work and lay nicely. And then I'm just going to pin this uh, in place with a hair comb as opposed to bobby pins. Again, I'm just sort of separating and coaxing the curls into a style I like. This is leftover curl, um, so I don't expect much out of it. So I'm kind of just playing with it until I like it. But I will just secure the side with a comb. And then I'm going to hairspray everything, of course, um, once I like it or I have the curls arranged in a way that um, I feel they're behaving best. Just giving everything a nice little hairspray here. Is it perfect? No. Is it much better than when we started? Yes. And anything is better than having to set your hair again, isn't it? So here's the style I got this day. You know, sometimes it comes out a little bit different, but I just wanted to show you how I do my hair with second day curl. This is um, also just how I hang, I hide my bangs when I want to, 
you know, get rid of them for the day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.